Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. Here, this is the question. Which of the following is not considered as a major branch of the descending thoracic aorta? It is also a direct question that which is not major branch. That means which is not branch of descending thoracic aorta. We know that the descending thoracic aorta, it it starts at the level of the thoracic four vertebra then it travels all of the thorax then finally it leaves the diaphragm and named as the abdominal aorta at the level of the thoracic 12 vertebra so we have to find out first of all the branches of the descending thoracic aorta and then it will be easy for us to find out which is not branch of the descending thoracic aorta so here the options options are bronchial artery mediastinal artery inferior thyroid artery posterior intercostal artery and esophageal artery so we have to find out one of the artery which is not branch of the descending thoracic aorta so now we can see this is uh, the vessels of the thorax here we can see this is the ascending aorta then arch of aorta then here this is the descending thoracic aorta now see the branches of the descending thoracic aorta first of all we can see this is the bronchial branch so the bronchial artery it arises from the descending thoracic aorta then we can see the esophageal artery so the esophageal artery which supplies the esophagus it also arises from the descending thoracic artery then posterior intercostal arteries then we can see this is the subcostal artery pericardial artery and mediastinal artery so they are the main branches of the descending thoracic aorta again this is the bronchial, esophageal, pericardial, medicinal, posterior intercostal, and subcostal artery. So, they all are the branches of the descending thoracic aorta and it supplies the different part of the thorax. Then we can see the here uh, the supply of the thyroid gland, which is also important regarding this question. And here we can see the inferior thyroid artery. Inferior thyroid artery it supplies the inferior part of the thyroid gland. And this inferior thyroid artery here we can see it is arises from the thyro cervical trunk. And this thyro cervical trunk it arises from the subclavian artery. So inferior thyroid artery it arises from the thyro cervical trunk, which also arises from the subclavian artery on the other hand we can see this is the superior thyroid artery superior thyroid artery it arises from this artery which is the external carotid artery so superior thyroid artery it arises from the external carotid artery on the other hand the inferior thyroid artery which arises from the thyro cervical trunk which is branched from the subclavian artery on the other hand another artery which supplies the thyroid gland is arteria thyroidea ema which arises from there which is the brachiocephalic trunk so the thyroid gland it is supplied by the superior thyroid artery inferior thyroid artery and arteria thyroidea ema so here now our answer which is not branch of the descending thoracic aorta here the inferior thyroid artery because the inferior thyroid artery it arises from the thyro cervical trunk and other branches here such as the bronchial artery it arises from the uh, descending thoracic aorta medicinal artery also posterior intercostal artery they also arises from the descending thoracic aorta and esophageal artery also from the descending thoracic aorta but inferior thyroid artery it arises from the thyro cervical trunk and that side thyro cervical trunk it branches from the subclavian artery thank you all